Okay, so this should look familiar from many moons ago. The lower with the unnecessary bolt, relat bolt latch release. The uh, Rock River Arms two-stage trigger, so you can actually see the difference between it's maybe a third thicker, significantly thicker. I'll get the calipers out maybe later and measure it. But uh, I cannot put this hammer into this trigger grouping because the parts are not compatible. This is standard AR. This trigger is not. So with my two stage trigger, I'm kind of stuck. Um, as you can see, with the bolt, it is functioning. Hella oiled. And now we are going to figure out how to mate these two for the first time. Not rocket science. We're essentially going to pull our extended pins. Which are a tad tight. Maybe put a drop of oil on those. All right, so that is ready to go. Let's see what's in frame. Hopefully my big body is not, and I will put this around. I think I'll move this over a little bit so you can see it better. Get my drink out of the way because Murphy's Law says that will spill. So essentially, I think what I'm going to do is just lift and pop it together. And see what fits. So in theory, this should be a nice mating. Because it all came from Zell. And Murphy's Law. I don't know if it's because I don't have the right leverage, so, or things are just not lined up, or both. Or it's just really, really, really tight. So, let's go to plan B. Plan B that is not lining up. So we've got what is preventing that is interesting. this screw Murphy's law okay so we're close 
I need to take that screw down an eighth of an inch and we'll be golden. So we're definitely close. I will be back as MacArthur said. See you in a few minutes. All right, here we go. Take two. So yanked off the grip, took out this spring and the safety pin. We're back golden. Lowered that green Delrin tipped bolt a little so that when this sets on top of it, we've got a nice snug fit. So since I didn't have that as a guide, that one caught me off guard a little bit. So let us try this again. Front, rear. And tighten this. We now have a big ass bolt action 416. And I'll flip it around here. Hopefully not break anything in the garage. Yeah, it's big. It does not fit. I'm trying to figure out where the wiggle's from. So, 416. All right, first time I'm racking this. Oh, that's just the uh, UBR. Oh no, why doesn't that go in? That's not good. Okay, so now it's time to troubleshoot and we'll be back.